Hi, everybody. How are you? It's great to see you. It's me, Mrs. Holbrook. And it's me, Baby Echo. Okay, so for our warm-up today, we are going to practice pairing rhythm with our sounds and letters. So I want you, well, let me stop for a second. Do you know what rhythm is? When we listen to music, the rhythm is like the beat. And when we dance, we kind of have rhythm that matches the beat of the song. So whenever I say something like S, snake, S, there's kind of a rhythm to that. And there's three parts to it. So today, I invite you to choose whatever rhythm body movement you want to use to match my rhythm. Here are some choices. You could be really physical. And you could stand and do something like punching. So I say three things. You echo it and say it to the beat. S, snake. You could jump together, S, snake, S. You could just tap on your hand, S, snake, S. Tap on your head, S, snake, S. You could use a little drumstick, S, snake, S. You could tap your foot on the ground. Whatever it is that you want to do today, because it is proven that our brains learn better when our body's moving too especially when we put things to rhythm and music. Okay, let's try it out. Here we go. A, you know what, just for an example, I'm going to do fist and open. So you'll see me do my rhythm. Here we go. A, apple, a. Ah. E, ed, a. Ah. I, itch, I. It. O, octopus, ah. U, up, ah. A, and the rhythm's going to change a little here. Watch this. A, N, fan. Yeah, fan. A, N, fan, an. Right? Because we had two letters to say. So now we had like four beats. A, N, fan, an going to be the same with these digraphs. Here we go. S-H, ship, sh. C-K, sock, k. And I kind of paused. Did you hear that? C-K, sock, k. So have your rhythm match mine. And let's do some flute sounds. These are going to have a whole new rhythm. Check it out. A-N-K, bank, ank. I N K pink ink. O N K honk onk. U N K junk onk. All right, I hope you enjoyed the rhythm with your body. That's something we'll be doing a lot lately. And let's review a few trick words. Get to the middle of the pack. Okay, try to beat me. Why buy my try? Where, there, here. You, your. Said. Okay, nice job. Could you read that upside down? It's pretty cool if you could. All right, my friends, today is going to be a word of the day, and then we have new trick words to learn. Let's do it. Here comes our word of the day. It starts with a blend, followed by a blue sound, and then another consonant at the end. And, of course, it has a suffix ending. Let's check it out. Tap it with me and blend. Pull, 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 and plant, plant. And now let's add the ending. Plant, planted. She planted vegetables in her garden. Have you ever planted anything? Okay, so what's the base word, everyone? Plant, good. And ed at the end means it happened when? In the past, she already planted it. What if I just have an ing? What does it mean now? Yeah, that I'm planting it right now. Let's go back to the word of the day, P-E-D. 
and we will enter this word into our student notebooks. So grab your notebook and your pencil and open up to the vocabulary part and planted starts with p -p -p. So find the P, here it is, and I'll write it in my notebook too. Go ahead and write pull and planted. There we go, just like that. And we of course need to mark it up. So the first thing that we'll do is scoop the base word, circle the suffix. And then we need to mark the closed syllable. It's closed, so we put the C and we put the little rev over it to show that the A is short. And now that we know so many markings, we won't always mark everything. So you have to listen closely to what your teacher says to mark. I didn't say to mark the blend or the glued sound. If we mark everything, sometimes it looks all junked up. So just mark what your teacher tells you to mark. It's not wrong if you do, but it's good to listen to directions. Plant it. Okay, so once that word is all done, we need to write a sentence. Let's pick a vegetable that we planted. Let's say I with an uppercase planted what vegetable? Ooh, lettuce. Good. So then you can have a salad at home. I planted lettuce. There you go. So go ahead and copy down the sentence, doing good spacing and letter formation, and always pinching our pencil and making a table underneath. That grip is so important. I planted lettuce. And let's scoop it. I planted lettuce. Read back that sentence to yourself. Pause the screen right here if you're not done. Finish getting that in. Okay, and I am going to spell away my word planted. Don't put your notebook too far away because you will be needing it after our trick word. All right, let's go on a field trip over here to my trick word station. Dun, dun, dun. All right, cool. So here is my first sentence for you. Repeat it back after me. Are you ready? Okay. I am about to go out to play. Let's count the words. I am about to go out to play. Eight words. This might be our longest trick word sentence. So I about to go out to play. And then we need an end mark. All right, here I go. Capital I. Let me bring you even closer to make sure you can see it. Am, that's a glued sound we know. About to, it's a trick word we know is T-O, go out to play. And we know A-Y, long A, that's one of our vowel teams. And I'll put my period over here. Okay, I am about to go out to play. So I'm first going to circle this one right here. See if you can read that word. I am about to go out to play. What does this word say, our circled word? That's right, it says out. Let's talk about that word, out. Here it is. Which part's tricky? What do you hear at the beginning? Ow, ow, yeah. That's a little tricky. We have learned about trout soup. So we've learned about the vowel team OU, but we've only learned about it a little, so it's still tricky for us. So OU is a little bit tricky, and the ending sounds not, out. So if you remember OU says ow, OW says it too though, like snow plow. But in out, it's OU. Okay, now check it out. Um, I'm gonna add out up here to our list. We'll always write our new one. I'll put my heart under OU because that's the part I kind of have to learn by heart. 
And you know what? When I think about the letters O-U in my head, or when I hear the sound ow, right away O-U pops into my head, and O-W does too. And then I just have to kind of remember which one it is for out. Our other word in this sentence is also a trick word. I'm going to circle this one here. See if you can figure out what this one says. I am about to go out to play. What's this one? Yeah, good for you. You see the word out in it. So we need to add a uh to it and the B. About. So let's talk about about. Haha. <laughs> what makes about tricky? It starts with an A. It sounds like it's a U. So that can be super tricky because if you're trying to look it up in your trick word dictionary, you might look under U, not A. So you have to remember it starts with an A. Uh, buh, 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 buh. That's not tricky. And the OU, the OU might still be tricky for you, but once you know how to spell out, you'll know how to spell about. And the T isn't too tricky. So here's our next trick word, about. Okay, let's change this sentence. I will erase. Okay, and here's our next sentence. I wonder who your teacher is. I'm gonna pick one lucky teacher. I'm gonna say, Mrs. Haight is our teacher. That's our sentence. Mrs. Haight is our teacher. I'm gonna move my period up. Okay, and let me write it in. Mrs., I'll start with a capital M, and I'll put her first name, starts with an H, I'll put that in uppercase too, is, we know that trick word, our, teacher. Can you see that okay? Yikes, not really. Time for me to get some new markers, guys. Jeez, that was a bad one. Let me fix it. Mrs. Hate is our teacher. Okay, I hope you can read that better. Here's our trick word right here. Can you read it? Our Let's check it out. It's got the O-U. It says ow, just like an out and about. So I'll put the heart under that. And then the R. That's not tricky. It says er. Our. Our teacher. Here it is. What does this word say? Our. Let's practice some more. Out. About. Our. Ow, ow, ow. Let's skywrite them. Stand on up. So your two fingers and nice straight arm. Spell it with me in the sky. O U R. Our. Take your finger and let's write it on our desktop with our eyes closed and really picture in our brains. O U R. Our. Okay, now for the next one. Out. Two fingers. Let's picture pink shooting out of our fingers and really see it in the sky. O U T. Out. Nice. Now do it with your finger. And one more. What does our last trick word say? About. Let's sky write it. What color are you going to write in? All right. A B O U T. About. And with your finger. Great. Okay, my friends, and the last thing that we need to do today is add these trick words to our notebooks. So let's start by adding about. It starts with an A. So trick words are in the very back. Let's find the page that has A, that still has a space with A, and let's write about. A, B, O, U, T. Remember when you do a B, we do the line first because when we say B, we put our lips together. So the B needs to start up in the sky and start with the line. A, B, O, U, T. Some people call it the stick. About. Pause until you have that in. About. And you should always be using these notebooks to help you look up your trick words. Now we need to go to the letter O. We have two to add on the page with O. Out and our. So once you find your O, we will put in out and our. They both start with O-U-R. Add these two in 
and then you'll be all done for today.